And now let's move over to another subject, uh, and that's the Lion King movies. Uh, I have four of them to review here, so let's get on with uh, the first Lion King, which was in 1994. Uh, you know, we all know the story of the Lion King. It's about this little cub named Simba who, you know, looks up to his dad, uh, Mufasa, who is king of the Pride Lands. And, you know, one day Simba is going to become king of the Pride Lands. And, you know, he has a lot of that kind of responsibility and stuff. And after he faces, like, something he really did not want to face, he, you know, goes into exile and, you know, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Like, he, he, he goes to try to, uh, what's, what, like, he, 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 he grows up to try to become, uh, king of the Pride Lands. And, uh, so there's that. Mm. Sorry, I need to get a drink. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the Lion King, I've always loved it when I was a kid. I Like, everyone says it's, like, the best animated movie ever made. For me, it's second, the second best animated movie ever made. Uh, for me, it's still the, the Tigger movie. But I'm not going to argue you if you think it's The Lion King. I mean, The Lion King is a masterpiece of animation. I mean, the opening Circle of Life sequence is, like, one of the best scenes put in any film. Like, it's jaw-dropping what they were able to do with 2D animation back then. And apparently, this was Disney's B-team. Like, their A-team was working on Pocahontas, and so they sent their B-team to try to do The Lion King, and now everyone hails The Lion King as, like, the greatest achievement in 2D animation. That, uh, like, as it, like, when not, like, in just plain 2D animated movies, like, not counting Roger Rabbit, where they're trying to integrate 2D animation with, you know, live action, which... Is insane how they did that, but with Lion King, in terms of just plain 2D animated movies, this was, I agree that this was probably the greatest achievement in 2D animation. Uh, what's not to love about this movie? The main protagonist, Simba, is such a likable character when he's both a cub and an adult. Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas plays him really well as a cub, and Matthew Broderick actually delivers a really good performance when he's adult Simba. Um, you know, Mufasa has a really great character. Scar is one of the best villains in an animated movie. Uh, Nala is a really great love interest. Timon and Pumbaa are pretty good characters. Uh, like, Rafiki's a really, um, in, you know, inspirational character and whatnot. Or, what's the term I'm looking for? Like, he's a very, like, he's a very, uh, you know, wise character. Even though he sometimes acts silly. Which is what I love about Rafiki. And... Uh, for me, the this the Lion King has the best music in any film, both songs and uh, musical score. Like the Lion King, like just like just you know the ending you know score alone, where it's like oh, 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 oh. like that is oh my god, so dr it's so jaw dropping. It's fantastic. Uh, there's also the stampede music. It's just like. The music in this is just so good, and the songs are so great as well. Like, the best one, in my opinion, is, of course, Circle of Life. But then you got Be Prepared, which is a great villain song. Just Can't Wait to Be King, which is a great, you know, you know fun song. Akuna Matata, I liked it when I was a kid. I, I thought it was a good song when I was a kid, but I, I'm starting to really like it now as an adult. Uh, Can't You Feel Love Tonight, I didn't care for it when I was a kid, but I think it's actually a really good uh, romance song. Um, there's probably some other songs I'm forgetting about. But they're all just bangers. They're just amazing songs. And it's a great story about, you know, uh, about, you know, trying to face your responsibilities. And and that it's just such a great, oh, God, I love The Lion King so much. It has some it has just great themes about growing up. It's a great coming-of-age story, The Lion King. It is a fantastic coming-of-age story. And... It has one probably the best book end, like one of the best bookends to any film. Uh, if you have not, if you have not seen the Lion King already, I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it, what they did with the with the ending of this film, it's like that is perfect. Which leads us to our next. Well, actually, well first before I move on to Lion King two, basically what I think of the Lion King, it's it's one of the best animated films ever made. It's one of the best movies ever made. The Lion King is an absolute perfect masterpiece of, uh, of animation. It's incredible what they were doing with it. Uh, such so, so groundbreaking in terms of uh actually uh, in terms of animation. Also, I'll say this about the movie. Uh, here's a little fun fact. Um, when it comes to Timon and Pumbaa. 
them being in the movie was actually the first technical plot twist I've ever had in any movie. And here's why. Because when I was a very little kid, before I saw The Lion King, I used to watch this show on Toon Disney called Timon and Pumbaa. Now, as you, if, as you know, Timon and Pumbaa was a spin-off show based on The Lion King that followed the adventures of Timon and Pumbaa. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a movie called The Lion King when I saw Timon and Pumbaa when I was a little, little kid. So I was like, ooh, this show's funny. And so when I was watching The Lion King, like, it had some funny moments, but it, like, coming off of this really depressing scene, which is, which is a great scene, by the way, you know, you, you go through this really depressing scene, like, and as, you know, little me was like, wow, this is really, this is really dramatic, like, oh, oh geez. And then out of nowhere, you hear, he it's like Timon and Pumbaa. I'm like, what in the world? Timon and Pumbaa are in this movie. Like, because, like, I had not seen The Lion King before I saw Timon and Pumbaa, so I just didn't know that they were actually going to be in this film. And so, technically, for me, that was the first ever plot twist I've ever had in a movie, which is kind of crazy to think about, but I didn't know they were in the movie, so I guess technically it counts. So, yeah, r basically, I love The Lion King so much. It's one of the best movies ever made. I absolutely recommend seeing The Lion King.